Hello everyone, today I am replacing the O2 sensor on a 2002 Honda CRV with the 2.4 liter motor. Um, I'm going to show you here. I went with a, a uh, Denso brand. Uh, it's the closest to the OEM that I could purchase at the local store without going to the dealer or ordering one online. Um, the part number for this specific O2 sensor is 234. 4125. Um, I highly recommend going with a good brand and not one of your knockoff brands. Um, I, I believe most people can expect to pay about $147. There is a specific socket. There's an O2 socket um, that you could purchase. It is a 7 8 um, Basically has the gap here so you can route the wire through the socket and still tighten and loosen it. Um, the other route, uh, because this one is very accessible, is you could use a just a 7 8 wrench. Um, and you will have to use the open inside because the electrical connector does not fit. As I said, this is the downstream sensor. Um, this is the one located furthest back toward the rear of the vehicle. Um, past the catalytic converter or potentially on the catalytic converter. Um, the Canadian and US cars are just a little bit different. So I will go ahead and show you how to install this now. And here's our beauty. This is my brother's car. I'm his little side mechanic when he needs it. So, sorry if it's a little noisy. Let me show you here. So here you have, uh, this is the upstream O2 sensor, um, and here is the downstream. Normally you would go, so this would be bank one, sensor one, and then you have bank one, sensor two, um, but for some reason on these uh, particular vehicles, they just call it upstream and downstream. Um, they just call everything the same name. It would keep it from being so confusing for people. So I'm just going to put it in the finger tight right now and then um, I do have the socket but I am going to just use my wrench. It'll if you try to loosen this without an open end wrench. There's a possibility that you will uh, you will break your socket, um, your special socket for this particular uh, sensor. Because um, it, it's not very strong. Even my snap-on one seems a little flimsy. And you know, they charge an arm and a leg for those. And then up here, um, you have your, your connector here. So, you just route it up. Um, to remove it, it is faced up like this. You just push your finger. You have to push pretty hard, but you push that in and then pull out. And they're pretty sturdy. Um, you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to damage anything. Let's see if I can actually snap it in there. There we go. I like to hear that click when I'm putting the sensors on. And then there is a channel here. Um, I'm sure you still have it, but you just put the wire in that, keep it from dangling around or hitting the, the drive line here. So there you have it, that is installed, it's tightened down, and I am going to go ahead and clear the code. So on this CRV, uh, the OBD2 connection is right down here, um, under the driver's side, uh, toward the inner panel there, or the center console. So I have this hooked up, I will put the key in, I'll turn it into the on position without starting it. And then I'm just using an Actron uh, to CP9125. It's one of the most basic scanners you can buy. Uh, and you know, it works great. I've been happy with it. So um, we have larger ones at the shop, but this one here is very portable. And I actually don't mind letting people borrow it since it wasn't crazy expensive. So let's see what code we get. So I have two codes. I believe it is the same code over and over. And it's P0420. Yep, so you have it twice. 
So I'm going to erase the code by holding down. Yes. We'll say done. All right, so I'm going to turn the key. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. I'll start it up and see if this engine light comes on. Seems to be pretty good. Go ahead. Close the door and back it off the ramp. I will be taking this vehicle for a test drive. I may have a few errands to run. The light has come on after driving uh, not too far, so it should come on during my test drive, and I will let you know if that has confirmed the fix. Thank you for watching.